Hey everyone, welcome back to my website here at lachellezfarrington.com. Today's blog or vlog is about the topic it's time to reboot. I know you're wondering, okay, Lachelle, what are you talking about? But I'm going to get into that. I wanted to share with you, just um, take you on the journey of what I have been going through in the year 2018 and just some things that God was laying on my heart and he was teaching me throughout this year that I wanted to share with you. So the title is, It's Time to Reboot, Believing God When Things Seem Impossible. That's what God told me um, a couple of weeks ago when I was getting in the shower. Now for some reason God likes to talk to me in the shower. I don't know why but it's something about me getting clean. He loves to talk to me. So I was getting in the shower that morning and I heard God say it's time to reboot. And I was like okay God it's time to reboot and he was just saying that okay there's approximately two more months in the year 2018 okay it's about to be November and a lot of things a lot of prayers that have gone up before me a lot of people have not seen or you know even your expectations for the year 2018 have not gone the way that you wanted it to go or the way that you've been praying for it to go or the way that you've been believing for it to go and so he was saying it's time to reboot all right so I'm gonna take things step by step okay let's start with 2018 you came into the year you probably wrote your new year's resolutions you probably wrote all the things that you did desire to happen this year and you were praying over them and life happened like it always does like it did for me and none of those things or barely any of those things came to pass I know that's my story in 2018 okay hit the like button if that story is you for 2018 now first things first what God was sharing with me was that when we pray now it says that when you pray when you ask God believe and you shall receive now the word of God God also says delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart now here's the thing what God taught me this year a lot of times we are praying for things that are not aligning with the will of God for our lives so that's why for you it's time to reboot that's why for me it's time to reboot so what's the first step in us rebooting the first step is for us to shut all the noise out okay put the list that we wrote for ourselves down and then go back before the Lord get in his book, get in your Bible, get on your face in prayer, and really ask God this question, God, what is your will for my life? That's the first thing, okay? What is your will for my life? God, I only want what you have for me. I only want to walk through the doors that you have opened. I only want to obtain the things that you have written in the book concerning me. That's the first step. And that's the it's that first step where a lot of us go wrong. Because we're praying for what we want. And that doesn't necessarily line up with what God has for our lives. So that's the first step in rebooting. If you're your list is selfish or if you wrote a list and you didn't see God concerning the things that you wrote on that list you may want to take some time to do that now because I'm telling you God really wants to just do good he wants to make good on the promises that he promised you however the prayers that you prayed have to line up with what his word is saying for your life so all the things that he's promised you can come to pass like God doesn't have to uphold keep protect bless nothing that he hasn't ordained so that's one of the first steps as we as believers we get into this thing where we go off of what everyone else is saying but we're not taking that time to get to know God like get to know him as our father get to know him as our friend get to know him as king or judge like we're not taking that time so that's where a lot of us are missing it so that's the first thing you want to take that list you either gonna put it down and say okay God didn't tell me anything on this list so I'm gonna throw 
it away or you can even pray over it. Oh God, okay, God, what are some of the things that you're saying here on this list that you have for me? Show me what you want and what you don't want. And you make that separation. All right. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing, after you're spending time with God and you know, you're really getting in his presence, you're worshiping him. You're just taking that time out daily. And, it, and, and if this is something that you're not used to, it doesn't have to be like an hour a day. You know, you can get up 10 minutes early and just pray and worship and, you know, just read the word. I love to start off with Proverbs. I love that book of wisdom and just begin to take that in and just get to know God's mind concerning you like Proverbs and Psalms. I love books like that because there are a lot of key hidden gems in those books. So once you're taking that time, a, a friend of mine asked me on Facebook, how do you know that you're hearing from God or if you're being spiritually lazy or God is saying, not time, it's not time, don't worry, you know, not now. Okay, that's another thing. After you go before the Lord, you hear from him, okay? And then you're believing like, okay, these are, you're writing down because if you're spending time in the word of God and spending time in worship and in prayer, keep a journal with you so you can write things down or keep your phone with you so you can write, you know, what you feel is coming up in your spirit. Now, if you're unsure what God is saying to you, then guess what? You can always pray this prayer. God confirm your word. I believe that this is what you're speaking to me. I would like you to confirm this to me. And I'm sure God will do it. He'll send you a scripture. I mean, God has limitless ways on how he can confirm his word to you. Okay. So you're going to ask him for confirmation of that word. And then now we're going to get into the meat of the, su the subject or the topic for today is believing God when things seem impossible. <laughs> Because he's going to speak some things to you and you're going to look at your life and you're going to be like, ain't no way. Like, I don't see none of that going on. All right. So I'm going to give you two examples. Now, I, if you read my previous blog, you can go ahead, you can pause this video and you can go and read um, the blog right before this one. I talked about how I wanted to give up. and I have basically decided to give up on my business for now. Like, I didn't feel like... It was something that I needed to focus on and really I just felt so distraught about just not being successful in it. I knew that I was pouring my heart and soul into it and I just wasn't seeing the results. So I was like, you know what? I'm not just, I'm not going to focus on this. I'm not going to pour any more of my money into it because it was like, it's very draining financially when you have to take care of yourself and then also try to uphold a business. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to do this right now. Um, you know, I'm just going to put this to the side and try to figure out my life. Okay. So, of course, lo and behold, after you've done all you can, after you tried all that you can, and you just give up, God decides to show up. And two different people came to me to tell me that God said not to give up on your business and now is the time for you to go forth in your business. And I was like, okay, God, I already decided, like, I've been waiting for you to show up. And then when I decide to give up, now you're saying time to go forth. So a friend of mine who lives in Orlando, she messaged me on Facebook. I haven't spoken to her in months. She messaged me on Facebook telling me she had a dream. All right, and she said, in the dream, I had a daughter. The little girl, she was like a toddler. She was the age of a toddler. And then she said, all of a sudden in the dream, she grew to like a seven, eight year old girl. And she was like, the girl was beautiful. She had thick, long hair, long black hair. And then she woke up and she was like, God, what does this dream mean? And she said she felt the Holy Spirit telling her that, you know, there was something that he had given me that I had kind of given up on. And then she said, just like in the dream, God is going to cause that thing to grow suddenly. Just like the little girl in the dream who suddenly, God is going to cause that thing to grow suddenly. So I was like, okay, like, okay, I know that this is God, okay? So again, I'm just like still kind of going back and forth deciding because now fear, fear of failure, fear is a paralyzer. So I was really afraid, like, you know, I don't want to get back into the same routine. I don't want to go back into pouring my money into this thing and just not see the fruits of my labor like I was desiring to. And then again, I got another call. I, well, I got a call from 
a very close a mentor of mine also she didn't know what I was going through also telling me that now is the time to pick up my business Jay Antoinette so I was like okay God I hear you so I started praying and started really getting in the face of the Lord and you know what I started to write out affirmations concerning this thing that God was speaking to me now second example even to round this up I remember um, when God was still speaking to me about when he said it's time to reboot and he had used this word um, for me to encourage my friend now if you guys follow me on Facebook you know that my brother is my neighbor he lives in the building right behind me but let me tell you I dreamt in I think it was around November of last year 2017 that my brother he was gonna go through a situation that was going to cause him to want to move that to have the desire to move right and I had this dream and I was asking him like you know well telling him well you can be my roommate in the dream so I got up and, and I called him and I told him you know all the details of the dream and he was like yeah I don't see that happening like at all you know he was comfortable where he's at you know it is what it is and I was like okay I'm just telling you you know it felt so real so I'm sharing with you whatever this was in like around November December all of a sudden within a month or two everything I saw in the dream started taking place in March me and my mom were going away and he called and he said he found an apartment in the complex where I was living and long story short a few short months later my brother I think about six months later my brother was my neighbor and even during that time when he was deciding to move things kept coming up coming up coming up and he would call me and tell me like you know this is starting to go wrong blah 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 and I remember I had to tell him I said you know what God already showed me that you are gonna be moving here so don't even worry about it I said we're gonna trust God because he already showed me and this is what it's going to be so what I'm trying to say is God knows the end from the beginning. So if he speaks something to you, if he said you're going to be living at such and such a place and you're looking and you're in a completely different place right now and you'd be like, you're looking at your circumstances and situation like, okay, there's no way according to my current circumstance that that can happen. Like my brother didn't even see what I told him in his near future. He didn't even see it, but God himself made it come to pass. So if God is speaking something to you. So first of all, you want to get to know the will, God's will for your life. You want to get to know the will of God for your life. And once he tells you, trust me, hold on to it and trust his timing because his timing is perfect my brother had no clue things were great but God knew that it was time for him to move and be independent he wanted to do good concerning my brother he wanted to do something good for my brother because he loved him and it's the same thing for you God wants to do you good so that's what I'm trying to say it's time to reboot what do you mean okay we're gonna go back to the drawing board okay we have two months left in 2018 what does that mean we're gonna go back to God and we're gonna say God what is it that you have for my life I lay my will down to pick up your will for my life your purpose for my life and as you spend that time in prayer you're gonna journal what he says and then when he confirms it if you need confirmation or if he speaks to you and you know it's his voice you're gonna stand on that thing and we're not going to give up we're gonna change our stance we're not gonna murmur and complain we're not gonna say things look impossible because to my brother what I was saying was impossible we're not gonna do that we're gonna trust in his word so I want to give you these two scriptures that God gave me just to put all of this together. The first one is in Philippians, it's chapter 4, verse 6. Now, God gave this to me maybe last week or the week before. And this is in the Amplified Bible. It says, do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation by prayer, and petition with thanksgiving that's important thanksgiving continue continue 
continue to make your specific requests known to God. And the peace of God, this is verse seven, that peace with which reassures the heart, that peace, which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. So what is the scripture saying? When you, God gives you his word and you're trusting him for the thing that seems impossible, don't be anxious, don't be worried. But in every time when you're, when you're strong in your faith and when you have no faith, Every time, in everything, in every circumstance, in every situation, you pray, you petition God, and you thank Him. Thanksgiving, because we know God don't like murmuring and complaining, okay? We're just going to put it out there. Do not try your best not to murmur and complain. So, prayer, petition, Thanksgiving, continue, okay? See, a lot of times we don't see because we don't continue in prayer. We pray one, two, three, four, five times and we don't see the answer and that's it. We give up. We say, God isn't real. God doesn't love me. Maybe I missed it. No, the word says continue. We have to continue. It says continue to make your specific requests known to God. And as you do that, now you're fueling your faith. As you're praying and you're thanking him, it says the peace of God. The peace of God will overshadow you and it'll keep you until that thing comes to pass. Now, the next scripture is in the book of Hebrews. This is the final one. It's Hebrews chapter 11. This is also in the Amplified um, Version and this is also Hebrews 11 verse 6. It says, but without faith, this is the thing. It's time to reboot. It's time to reboot our faith. But without faith, it is impossible to walk with God and please him. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Verse 7, by faith with confidence in God and his word, Noah being warned by God about events not yet seen, okay, in reverence, prepared an ark for the salvation of his family. By this act of obedience, he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness which comes by faith. Okay, so let's break this down. You can't please God without faith, okay? If God told you something, we're going to stand on the word. We're going to continue in prayer. We're going to believe it. So if you come to him, you must necessarily believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and keyword diligently seek him. Just like how it said in Philippians, continue to make your specific requests known to God, it was by faith with confidence in God and his word, Noah being warned by God about events not yet seen. Okay, God told Noah they ain't never seen no flood before in their life. But because he believed that God exists, he did what God was telling him to do. So I want you to know, even when things seem impossible, when God shows you things concerning your life or he speaks to you and it seems impossible, always know God knows the end from the beginning. And you have to trust him. It's all about rebooting. It's all about making sure that we hear the voice of God first. And we're not just going to try to make God, to try to strong arm God and have him do what we say. And God, I want this and I want that. And I want you to do this. And we putting all these affirmations and stuff all in the air okay no we're not about that life not 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 we're not going into 2019 with old bad mindset so what are we doing we're gonna trust god's will for our lives so we're gonna reboot we're gonna stand in faith we're gonna trust god regardless if it seems impossible we're gonna believe what he says we're gonna believe that he knows the end from the beginning and we're gonna trust him until we see that thing come to pass all right guys thank you for tuning into today's blog and i will see you guys again on the next one all right stay connected if this blessed you 
share it with a friend, tag someone, tag them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Share it with a friend and I got some more good stuff coming for you. In the month of November, we are going to be doing a 31 day daily devotional. I can't wait. So I am going to share more about it in another video. All right, guys. So until I talk to you guys again, stay beautiful. Bye.